Hey, greets, guys. So today, Alexa, turn on the shop. Uh, today I'm going okay. to be working on this, the carbs on this bike. Um, spent the last few days just kind of going through and fixing a lot of things on it. But uh, I'm going to pull the tank. I've never worked on these V-twin carbs before. But uh, I want to adjust the mixture a little bit and also sink them. So let's get the tank pulled and uh, get into it. All right. Hey guys, VT500 Ascot. Um, so all bikes from this era, mid 80s, early 80s, uh, were notoriously lean from the factory and they would put covers over the, the mixture screws. Um, I've already done one and they were kind of odd on this bike. I'm not really used to these carburetors on the VT500, but I just want to shoot a quick video to show you where they are at. Make sure you can see it. So if you look, let's get a light. The plug is actually right there. It's brass. It's just under the, the throttle part right here. Little brass plug, four millimeter drill bit. Don't get confused and do this one, that's not it. But four millimeter drill bit, right, right there. Make sure we can see. And just a little punch and it comes out. I already did the other side. The other side was at two and a quarter, which is good. You know, normally these bikes, they have them pretty choked down. Um, so I just backed it a quarter turn out. We'll see if that does anything. Nice thing is if there's any issues, these are these are accessible. These are real accessible, both sides. Um, and I can fix it pretty easy. So let's just drill it out real quick. And make sure you get dead center. They say to punch, use a punch, but I'm pretty good with getting them right in the middle. Famous last words, right? Let's, so dead metal of the plug, there we go. You don't have to go in that far at all. Just go to where you kind of feel your drill bit hang up a little bit. That means you've reached the other side. I put the drill bit in here kind of loose so that it kind of has a natural clutch. I guess I could use the clutch that came with the, that's a part of the actual tool. Okay, I'm through, good. So just tap a hole through it and then grab your punch. Of course, I left it on the other side of the bike. Along with the manual. You know, pretty much every bike you work on, you really should have a manual if possible. It makes things so much easier. So you can just see it right in there where I pop the hole out. So I'm just gonna lightly take my punch and just kinda work it a little bit. And they, they're brass, they're pretty soft. They usually come out pretty easy. You want to be careful. I do not want to break a 35 year old carburetor. There we go. Look at that. Boom. That's it right there. That is DOS plug right there. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to real gently and, and don't think just because one side is one set of turns in that the other side is going to be the same. I've taken apart many bikes where, where's my little, there it is. Taking apart many bikes where the screws were actually out of whack, either on purpose or from stupidity in Japan 35, 36 years ago. Okay, so, okay, so one half, one, one and a half, two, ooh, two and a half. Okay, so the other one was two and a quarter. So let's just leave this one at two and a half. And mind you, this is the rear cylinder, so they might have this one richer. Um, I get, I forget what the thinking is behind that because it runs hotter. They might naturally have this carb set a little bit richer, but I'm just going to keep both of them at two and a half. So, and when you go all the way, you know, just just you feel it start to, to stop. Don't cram it in there because you'll you'll hurt the O-ring. Anyway, one half, one, one and a half, dose. Dose and a half right there. Okay, that's good. Now, what's nice since the plugs are gone, um, if I want to kind of tune it when I'm sinking it, when I'm sinking the carbs, I can. The plugs are gone, boom, boom, do my tunes. So 
Um, I also adjusted on this bike, the choke cable was real loose and it was interesting. I've never seen this type before, but what you do, and I think this was probably a limited thing for Honda, is on each side, there's these little, this is the choke cable and there's one on each side for each carburetor. And it goes into here. What you do is you loosen this out and there's a little um, plug on the end of it. The way that the, the choke works on these bikes, it doesn't actuate a butterfly in the carb. It actually is just a valve. So there's a little plug on the end of this that opens and closes as you pull the choke lever. Well, you take this out and then you measure the distance between the end of this plug and the start of the of the little brass valve. Um, and you adjust and the way the way you adjust it, it's kind of weird, but you actually loosen the nut on the choke cable and then you rotate this until it gets tighter, you know, because basically you're pulling the cable down. It's tightening up the cable. And that's the way you do it. You have to do it on both sides. It's 10 millimeters between the end of the of this plastic piece and the start of the there's a little notch on the on the valve, the brass valve, and you measure that. So now the choke cable is really tight. Before it would have a lot of dead play before it would it would engage. So anyway, so I adjusted that. I'm gonna sink the carbs. Um, there, it's gonna be pretty easy to sink these because these right here are the vacuum ports. So I'll just connect my synchronized tool there, put it on my little gas can, start it up. Synchronized bolt is right there. Piece of cake, and then I will clean them. You know how bad that is. This whole underside's pretty bad. I'll, I'll detail all this before I put it back together. I'm toying with trying to pull the valve covers off and polishing them. I might do that. We'll see after I get the carbs synced, which probably I should consider if I'm going to do that before I sink the carbs, because I think the carbs might need to be. No, looks like they come off without the carbs synced. And while I'm in there, I'll probably adjust the valves. So anyway, all right. Hey, so here's where we're at. Um, I got the carbs synced. I got the mixture screws set. I got the choke adjusted. And I'm gonna adjust the valves. And I figured what I'm gonna do, because it's one of the areas on this bike that um, one is a little bit grubby on this bike and two it's something that just stands out so much so i pulled the valve cover off of it and i'm stripping it because what happens on the older finishes is aluminum well they they clear powder coat that well the clear powder coat goes south and then it looks it looks terrible so right now i'm stripping this front one and then i'll polish it a little bit tough getting it out of there i had to pull the coils up um but I'll do that one also, pull that out, polish those, and that'll just be a really nice focal point for the bike. They'll be real shiny, and I think um, I could probably, after I do that, and I might even re-black chrome the exhaust, um, I could probably advertise it as a full restoration. So um, we'll see as it goes along, but um, I swear with these bikes, it never, you know, what I plan on doing to them never matches with what I end up doing to them. So uh, this was just going to be a quick flip, but looks like it'll be a, a full resto. And I'll ask about, I don't know, 500 or 1,000 bucks more than what, what I had planned for just the flip. So should be a nice bike. All right. Take care. All right. All finished. And I am beat. So... Uh, last thing I did was polish the valve covers. You see, they look much better. So today, let's see, I did valves, <clears throat> drilled out the mixture screws, um, polished the valve covers. Seems like I did a ton more. Oh, I made a, this was all screwed up. You can't really tell now that it's all fixed, but this was, the plastic piece was zip tied on here, there was a missing bracket, so I had to make a bracket, and then I had to remount the horn. The horn was just dangling in there. And I've got something else, a little brain box right here. I gotta take that apart tomorrow, figure it out. So anyway, uh, besides the clutch, it's all done. Only thing I might still do is repaint this tail section back here. It's kind of chewed up. Um, that's it. 
I'm beat. I already took my ibuprofen. All right, stay healthy, my friends.